Hey guys, my name is James Diaz and today I'm going to teach you how to play Lost in Japan by Shawn Mendes on the guitar. You're going to need a capo on the third fret and let's get started. The chords for the intro to the song is going to start with the G. Then you're going to go to an A minor. Then you're going to go to a B minor. And then back to A minor. Then you're going to play a G again, and an A minor again, and then you're going to end it on a B minor. So the intro is G, A minor, B minor, A minor, G, A minor, B minor. Then you go into the first verse. Now the chords for the first and second verse and the chorus is all exactly the same chords. Um, it's going to start with a G, to an A minor, to an E minor, and then to a C. Then you're going to repeat that. G, A minor, E minor, C, and then you're going to play an A minor the second time around. So it's a G, an A minor, an E minor, and C. Then a G, an A minor, E minor, C, back to A minor. And you do that for the first verse, the second verse, and the chorus. And then you have a little post-chorus part, and you're going to play the second half of those chords for the post-chorus. So it's the G, the A minor, the E minor, the C, and the A minor for the post-chorus. So what I'll do is I'll play all these different parts of the song for you. I'll play the first verse and the chorus and the post-chorus so you can see where all these chords are placed in the song and then I'll teach you a strumming pattern you could use at the end of the video. Alright, so we start with the intro and it's gonna go to the A minor to the B minor then to the A minor Then to the B minor, and then you're going to go into the first verse. Alright, and the first verse is going to go... All it takes is one flight, we'd be in the same time zone, looking through your timeline, seeing all the rainbows, I, I got an idea, and I know that's crazy, I just want to see ya. Oh, I gotta ask. And then you go to the chorus. Do you got plans tonight? I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan tonight. I was thinking I could fly to your hotel tonight. Cause I can get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. Can't get you off my mind. Then you go into the second verse, but it's the same as the first verse, so I'm gonna skip ahead to the post chorus for you. Alright, so for the post chorus, you're coming right out of the second chorus, and it goes, uh, and I can't get you off my mind, can't get you off my mind, I can't seem to get you off my mind. Let's get lost tonight, let's get lost tonight, baby, you and I can't seem to get you off my mind. Let's get lost tonight, let's get lost tonight. Then you go into the chorus again, but it's the same. Um, so that's basically where all the chords are placed in the song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you a strumming pattern you could use now. Alright, so a really basic strumming pattern you could use now is going to be down, down, up, 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 down, down. Down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, do you got plans tonight? I'm a couple hundred miles from Japan, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down. Alright, so that's a showing pattern that you could use for this song. And now we're going to discover the sound that a tree makes when it falls in the forest. The girl with the train is like the Hunger Games. They're both about girls and they're both about trains. Only the girl with the train smells like Hollister. The girl with the train is better than the Lord of the Rings in that it's smaller and it costs less. The girl with the train is a magnet punk novel about a girl named Catherine set in a post-apocalyptic world where the government is evil and there's a resistance trying to fight said government. So the resistance is trying to take down the corrupt government, but they don't trust Catherine and her friends to do a very good job. So she decides to take matters into her own hands 
and steal a train from the resistance to go and infiltrate the highest level of their oppressive and corrupt government. Everything ends up going crazy and she has to run away from the corrupt government with the stolen train from the resistance and she expects no help from the resistance at all seeing as she stole their train. So I actually read this book, I read it twice actually, I really really liked it. And if you do get the book and you like it, I want to ask you guys if you can leave a review saying that James Diaz Music sent you. Thank you guys for watching. So I hope that this tutorial helped you and uh, I'll see you guys in another one.